Entropy, the IT company known for its artificial intelligence-based product authentication technology, has launched the new Entropy fingerprinting solution. The solution, created to keep counterfeits from penetrating supply chains, gives retailers the ability to verify the identity of a physical object at any point during its product life cycle. Following a series of sideline meetings of the Turkey Africa Economic and Business Forum between the Ghanaian delegation and Turkish investors, some textile garment manufacturing giants from the latter will expand their presence to the former. The October 10 to 11 forum had the theme Invest in a Sustainable Future Together, Turkey and Africa. Bangladesh may sign a free trade agreement with Sri Lanka as both sides have completed the feasibility studies, the former's Commerce Minister Tofail Ahmed said after meeting visiting Sri Lankan Minister for Development Strategies and International Development Malik Samarant Rama and Dhaka. The FTA will be signed before the next Bangladesh polls. Walmart, a leading e-commerce giant in the United States has announced the acquisition of Bare Necessities, a leading online retailer for intimate wear. Founded in 1998, Bare Necessities will bring deep category expertise, a content offering designed to educate intimates shoppers, as well as strong brand relationships and operational capabilities. Tajikistan's production of textile and apparel rose by 30% in the first eight months of this year making more than $89.6 million, according to the country's Ministry of Energy and Industry. The industrial production index in the sector rose by 29.1% due to an increase in the output of cotton fiber, fabric, carpets, carpet products, and hosiery. New York-based software company Source and Map recently launched the Open Apparel Registry, an open, crowdsourced database of apparel facilities around the world, offering apparel manufacturers and consumers worldwide access to the factories making their clothes. The free online tool creates a common and standardized resource of facility names and addresses. The U.S. Agency for International Development Hub in East Africa is helping companies in the region become more export competitive by helping them obtain worldwide responsible accredited production certifications, a minimum standard for social compliance, as U.S. textile and apparel buyers want to source from ethical and socially compliant companies. Of the surveyed, 75% of the consumers in the United States are value-conscious shoppers as they prefer buying clothes from discount retailers, says a recent study by the National Retail Federation. Regardless of age or income, virtually everyone wants a bargain whether it's for everyday necessities or big-ticket splurges. A World Trade Organization panel recently rejected Panama's claim for $210 million annual sanctions on Colombia for non-compliance with an earlier ruling against tariffs on clothing, textile and footwear imposed by the latter to target alleged money laundering. Panama won at the WTO in 2016 after complaining about Colombian tariffs on the same items. Eleventh-hour changes to a new trade deal torpedoed U.S. hopes of making Canada and Mexico allow higher-value shipments by online retailers, according to Mexico's economy minister Ildefonso Guajardo. The pact was set to double the value of goods that could be imported without customs duties or taxes from the United States through shipping companies to Mexico. Log on to www.fiber2fashion.com and stay updated with more textile stories.